Welcome to the tour of the Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Color here, TV. It, yeah, cold it does air. have color TV and cold air here in sunny Orlando, Florida. Well, it was kind of sunny today at least. We are to the right of the sign where cars pull up and the main entrance is right here where you will walk into the lobby. And from this lobby, this is the check-in area, which they are very helpful. Like, ask any questions. They'll definitely tell you where you need to go. <laughs> and this is help with your luggage. If you have any luggage needs or rental car needs, you can go right to the right after you log, after you um, check in. Thank you. Log in? I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh. And so from the middle, when you turn to the left, here is a universal gift shop where you can get all your gift shop needs. Plus any toiletries such as razors that you forgot at home even though you brought your uh, shaving cream. Very specific. <laughs> yes, because that's what happened to me. The gift shop right here is your ticket area where you can do your self-service tickets or talk to someone if you need help. And Kevin just ditched me for the bar, which is right next to the gift shop on the other side. But if you want a drinky drink, there it is. <laughs> Let us go into the gift shop and just kind of show around a little bit. Harry Potter stuff is kind of the main theme of these stores. They definitely have more space than any other specific area including pop grips. Oh, how cool are these? Oh, oh well, they say pop grips, <laughs> pop sockets, pop grip. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, 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 we're both right. So what does that say? $18, but these are kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, if you're into Harry Potter, they've got all the different houses and stuff for the cases. And then we get into the general Universal Studios merchandise, which we have seen at a lot of the stores. In fact, we have purchased some of these shirts at some of these stores. Oh, they have a whole bunch of different pins, like how you do pin trading at Disney. They started doing their own pins. I'm sure they're anywhere between nine and like $20 per pin. So, but they have a whole bunch of different ones for the different themes. Then you've got your minion section your cat in the hat section. There's a bunch of Cabana Bay specific stuff too, if you really enjoy Cabana Bay, including the bowling. Got Cabana Bay cups and towels, if you want a Cabana Bay towel. You got your Simpson section. And here is Jurassic World. This is actually a nice looking sweatshirt. It's just old. For $55. Then you've got some general Orlando, uh, Universal Orlando Resort merchandise with all the different, different uh, sections slash rides involved. Not sure what Quicksilver is. What is Quicksilver, Kev? Huh? What? It's a brand. Okay, you have a bunch of Quicksilver brand items over here if you're into that branding stuff. Kevin found a fun little sequin pillow. Yep. That what is it other than a what is it other than a flamingo? Oh, just reverse flamingo. Okay. Let's put it back. Silver with a pink flamingo is better. The Jack La La Lane show. I have no idea what that is, but if you know what it is, the shirt is for you. And then you got some general dresses and bags and shoes and shirts and pants, whatever you want. Swimsuits, in case you forgot your swimsuit in Florida. Don't forget your swimsuit in Florida. And then you just got some general universal merchandise. You can get yourself a little ET phone home while I fall over <laughs> for $21.95. Not bad for a little ET stuffed animal. Secret Life of Pets. I mean, our kids love that movie. I'm sure they'd want all of these stuffed animals if they knew they existed. 
but we pretend they don't exist so that way we don't have to have that many stuffed animals. And then you've got your superhero section. Lots of Marvel stuff. You got the Hulk and Spider-Man, Captain America. Fun stuff over here. Oh, a Red Hulk. Okay. I don't know enough about the Hulk to know what a Red Hulk means, but there's a Red Hulk as well as a Green Hulk. And of course, if you're like me and you forget something at home that you need to take care of yourself on a daily basis, they do have this one section in front of the Marvel area with all of your medicinal and toiletry and more medicine and sunscreen needs just in case. So you have the gift shop here and just slightly further into the left of the gift shop, you can't see the sign. I gotta move forward. You have a Starbucks. So for your morning coffee needs, you have your Starbucks right here, right by the swirly stairs. Right now is the Super Bowl. We're not watching the Super Bowl because we're not really into sports, but if you wanted to watch the Super Bowl, you could have gone up to the Galaxy Bowl to watch it. But the Galaxy Bowl entrance is up the swirly stairs if you want to go bowling while you stay in at Cabana Bay. So as we come, oh, sorry. <laughs> so as we come from Starbucks right there, mm -hmm. next stop is the Bayliner Diner. So this is your grab and go area where they do have food service so you can get pizza and burgers and all that fun stuff. They do serve breakfast during breakfast hours. You can grab pre-made stuff as well as drinks and snacks. And they're open until 11, I believe. Oh, here we go. They are open from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. And they have a menu so you can take it up to your room if you'd like. Over here is the Bay Liner Diner. And then over here across from it is a lot of seating. So you can take your food and sit down here and eat. And there's a, TV, a couple of TVs that play videos for you to entertain you in the meantime. There's self-service soda machines here, including the Coca-Cola Freestyle, which is one of my favorites. You have an open entertainment area where you can sit and watch some sort of movie that's playing. TV that's playing. That is John Goodman. What is he in that is playing at a family resort? Oh, and that's uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who is in everything. And right next to the movie area is bathrooms, which is definitely important right now for me. So Kevin figured out that this is Kong Skull Island, which I don't know if I've actually ever seen. I probably should see it since I did enjoy the ride. I believe from this eating area back in that corner over there is like a fitness area. Super Bowl time. And Super Bowl is on TV. Bayley Diner is back over that way. This is all the seating area. And up here, as well as back where we came from, has elevators. And we're gonna take them up and see what's up on the second floor. So this might give you an idea of what's going on. So on the ground floor, you have pretty much everything that we showed you. And then on the second floor is what we're gonna go see. That's the eating area down there. And on the second floor we are on the mezzanine. <laughs> on the mezzanine. And here, back here you have the Fun in the Sun Rec Center. Which, are we allowed to go in? Or, cause I'm curious if something. It's closed. There's nothing in there right now. There is nothing in there. So it's not really a rec center. But over here, you have Galaxy Bowl. And you have a Game-O-Rama, a.k.a. an arcade. So, I mean, there is some indoor entertainment. Let's take a look in the Game-O-Rama. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's like a typical arcade. Oh my gosh, they have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Oh, there's a Transformers game. A Jurassic Park game. Okay, so they have some games that are themed sort. Dave and Buster's types games, but with theming for, well, I mean, some of these are the typical games, yes. It is a mix. You got your cruiser, yeah. Very, very typical. 
Except you got Transformers and Turtles. You got a Minions game over here. Yes, Minions Jelly Lab. So, yeah, I think it's like a coin drop. Yeah, coin drop. But it, it'll entertain you if you do not have anything going on for the day. And in here is your bowling and... Yeah. I believe there is a food place in here. There, it looks like a bar that you might be able to get some appetizers in. I see people with food containers, so I'm assuming there's food. There's seats with ketchup and mustard. And the person wearing a Galaxy Bowl shirt might be an employee or a very big fan of Galaxy Bowl. <laughs> Galaxy Bowl does have some food. You got your appetizers, your salads, and your entrees. Rooms next to the bowling alley as well. And there is a fitness center back here. So if you are looking to maintain your fitness during your, your vacation, here it is. So we are on the back end of the fitness center. We came around the corner and came through here. And this goes out to the, there's two different pools. This one is on the Starlight and Thunderbird slash Castaway section. This is not the pool that we have been to. Oh my gosh, they have a water slide. They have a water slide. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I did not realize they had a water slide. They do have a food area and I see a fire pit coming up too. Are outdoor entranceways. Oh, I did not realize that. Okay, so Kevin said their rooms are outdoor entranceways. What's Flamingo Park? They have a place called Flamingo Park. Atomic Tonic, I'm assuming, is the bar. We are on the starlight side from over here. We are entering from the starlight side. Eight to 10 o'clock is these, this pool's hours. So you walk down, oh, that's a loud door. <laughs> you walk down, you have the bar area, which I'm assuming is called that Atomic Tonic. Atomic Tonic, look at that. I have a memory of a goldfish. How awesome is that? People are watching the game. There's an atomic grill back there. Here is the pool. They do have a beach area as well if you like to get sand on your feet that you can't get off. They do have a hot tub over here. There's a water slide there, but it looks like in order to get up the water slide, you have to go around a very big ramp to get up there. <laughs> so you better really want to go down that water slide. <laughs> so here you have all the cabanas that you can rent from them as well. Cold wind. Yeah, if you want to stay out of the cold wind. <laughs> At least at this time of year. <laughs> Here is a little kids area, a little splash pad area for the little ones, which is kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about them in water if they're not strong swimmers. Or if they don't like the water, this is probably something more fun for them to play in. This is part of the ramp to get up to the water slide. Here's your zero depth entry of the pool. You got more cabanas back here. More seating over there. That sign says something about a beach. So you got the pool back here. And you can see Atomic Tonic and Atomic Grill in the background. So a pool with a water slide and a hot tub and a beach area. That's what you got over here. If you are interested in renting one of these nice cabana areas with the TV, you can reserve it at uh, the Atomic Tonic area. Okay, so we're over on this side of Atomic Grill between a like facing Thunderbird building. And there is a sand pit area where they have a table tennis uh, area over there. And there's a bunch of uh, sand toys as well in here and another table tennis, tennis, table tennis table. I don't know, that seems redundant, but there's another table over there as well. So it seems just like a nice little play area for kids. And of course, for kids' safety, there are plenty of vests available throughout the different areas of the pool. This is also a nice little just seating area out here if you wanna just lounge around and watch uh, the pool area. This is kind of like laying down, almost shade lounger type style. What? 
60s, well, the whole hotel is 50s and 60s style, so of course they're gonna keep the theme going. Walk this way, talk this way. Oh, I'm just following Kevin, but we're going a different way than we normally go. So we are just gonna try and cut through, but I don't think we can. <gasps> no. Yeah, let's go into the building and go the way we know how to go. <laughs> Sharkalator. Did you say shark -a -later? Nope. A shark alligator. A shark alligator. I'm going to call it a shark We are now back at the dining area of the Bay Liner Diner, heading outside so that we can show you what's going on out here. When you first come out, there is a fire pit right here for your, all your relaxing needs. We are going to go through the gates, which I believe I showed you this already with the flashing blue lights. And there is another fire pit over here as well. It is too cold to go in the hot tub tonight, isn't it? Yeah, probably. I'm glad we got into the hot tub when we did. Follow the blue lit road. Follow the blue lit road. Follow, 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 follow the blue lit road. Wrong theme park. What is, is that Disney? Is that Disney? Well, they were, it's part of the great movie, right? Well, I don't, oh, that's true. <laughs> we are coming up. And to the left is the pool with the zero depth entry, which I believe I showed yesterday as we were coming up. So that's the main zero depth entry to the pool. You have the hideaway bar and grill, so you can get yourself a drinky drink or some snacky snacks. Here's more of that main pool. You can enter from any of these points, but the zero depth entry is obviously better for kids. Of course, they're gonna have the game on here at the bar. Straight ahead when you come from the hideaway bar and grill is our gigantic hot tub. This whole area on this side is open till 11 o'clock. So it is an hour later than the other side. This is the little kids area, the splash pad, which I think the little kids area is better on the other side. So if you have kids, take them to the other area. This is where they play the movies at night. So you can watch them from the pool. And we are going to walk right in front of it, but we are going to run right in front of it. So that way we don't block anyone. Sorry guys. All right. And then, what is this? I didn't, is this the entrance to the Lazy, oh, it is the entrance to the Lazy River. So this is where you can get into the Lazy River. There are some vests, life vests over here. Oh, it says no access though. Maybe you can only come out from here. Where would the Lazy River entrance be then? And it does not appear that they have any type of inner tube in here. They do have handy, capable, accessible equipment. People are walking down here. So, yep, here is the entrance to the Lazy River. It was just down a little ways. So we are basically right across from the hideaway right now. And this is where the entrance would be into the Lazy River. It just looks cold. Yeah, I'm sure it's warmer than it looks, but I do not need to test that out. It's really it's warm. Really warm. Okay. I'm not going to test gonna it go because in, I'm going to fall warm. out. I'm going to fall over, but I'm going to take your word. Is it like bath water? Yeah. Okay. Relax in the Florida sun. It is lies. It might be three months later, but I'm finally getting this video out. So that was our tour of Universal's Cabana Bay. And that hotel was. A, a fun hotel. I love the theming in there and they had a lot to do for families. When we stay again, if we go back again, especially if we have the kids, I would like to stay on the other side where they had the entrances directly from your room to the outside instead of being in a hotel. It feels a little bit more like condo y kind of. And the pool over on that side too had a really fun looking kid splash pad. So that is definitely something I would like to do again if we stay there again with the kids and everything. But definitely would recommend Cabana Bay. It is a very nice hotel and it is one of the more reasonably priced hotels as well. Plus they have busing system to get you to the parks and it was not a long 
drive or anything. So, and if you go during a time of the year that Volcano Bay is open, you're within walking distance of Volcano Bay. Highly recommend the hotel. Hope you enjoyed our tour and we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker.